President Biden in Buffalo today, mourning with grieving families who lost loved ones in the supermarket shooting Saturday. WGN's Shannon Halligan joins us now with more. The U.S. Department of Justice is investigating the mass shooting as a hate crime and an act of racially motivated violent extremism. The president today condemned white supremacy, calling the attack domestic terrorism. Last week, Celestine Cheney was celebrating her 65th birthday. Tuesday, her family was mourning her death. But my sister survived breast cancer and three aneurysm surgeries to go to the grocery store to get killed. Cheney was in the top supermarket in Buffalo Saturday. She was one of 10 black, mostly older victims who were killed when a shooter opened fire. Fighting through tears, Wayne Jones said he found out about his mother's death on social media. He shot my mom once. My mom was, was, lay, was laying on the ground. He went and reloaded. And he shot my mom again. Investigators say the suspected shooter drove three hours to carry out the massacre. A 180-page diatribe was posted online reportedly by the shooter before the attack. In it, the suspect said he researched zip codes with the highest concentrations of black people. President Biden traveled to Buffalo Tuesday to speak with victims' families. He called the murders domestic terrorism. For the evil did come to Buffalo. Has come to all too many places. Manifest in gunmen who massacred innocent people in the name of hateful and perverse ideology rooted in fear and racism. I call on all Americans to reject the lie. And I condemn those who spread the lie for power, political gain, and for profit. The top supermarket is the only grocery store for many in the east side community of Buffalo. Because of its crucial importance, it's expected to open as soon as the investigation inside is complete. The mayor of Buffalo said funerals for victims may start as early as this weekend. So tragic. Thank you, Shannon.